My name is Alwandes Kosana. I'm 17 years old. I was originally born in KwaZulu Natal province in Durban. In 2009, that's when I started playing tunis. I was introduced by my former teacher, Mrs. Mkandela, from Harding Special School. I first got my opportunity to go represent the country in Belgium. That was my first trip. And that's why I realized that now I'm starting to become more greater in the sport. Currently in juniors, I'm ranked number one in South Africa and five globally. And in men's, I'm ranked number two in South Africa and 53 globally. Our motto has always been a case of not just education, but just looking at the children in, as a whole, a holistic point of view in terms of their development, their social development. During school, it's just not just books. It's sport, it's culture. The general public look at persons with disabilities and saying, well, they're not like me. With our children getting involved, not only in terms of academics, but all the social and sport activities, it gives them an opportunity to become part of the community and help community to actually see that these are normal people with aspirations, desires, wants, loves and um, our role as a school is to try and address as many of those things as much as possible. In terms of sport and sports codes, we cover as many as possible. The main ones that we deal with is wheelchair tennis, wheelchair basketball, soccer, netball, gymnastics, Athletics, people with severe disabilities, there's a game called Boschia. Starting person throws this little white ball and it sort of lands sort of a few meters away. And then they all got their own little sort of fairly soft balls. In terms of wheelchair tennis, it wasn't something that we had really considered because not having access to a tennis court and tennis courts are always considered to be sort of the venue of the rich and privileged. We were quite fortunate. Harding community has got a, a, a love for us and a love for our children. And there was one particular lady from the local country club, Shauna Hudson, who decided why don't we try wheelchair tennis and she was passionate about it and committed to it and she used to come with her vehicle and transport our kids to the local country club and take our children for tennis lessons. Then one of our teachers, Mrs Mgandela, got involved with Shauna and mentored her and helped her develop the basic skills concerning wheelchair tennis. The Department of Sport and Recreation very generously and graciously decided that they would build us a combo court. And this combo court enables us to do wheelchair tennis, netball, wheelchair basketball, all in one court. So it's been such a blessing. Tennis South Africa have also been unbelievable. From a training point of view, advice point of view, words can't even describe their input. The tennis court is for me last year. See, Nige Zwangu, Department of Sports and Recreation. This is a to a such a good as niggas, all sports and recreation in tennis court is because Yelekas got a land, a land in Jemoba is a international player, was she Kamala Kapi school in so just near the credits long to the Mabaya approve the application year to Woody Senator Senator E tennis court, Idinga Pagat is school. We had some blossoming talent. 
One of them, of course, was Alwanda Skwasana, who's doing exceptionally well, not only nationally, but internationally. The reason why I play wheelchair tennis is because of my disability called right foot hem, which means that uh, my right foot grows slower than my left foot. Alande Uzalege in Okubazek Bazam or daughter Luguti by Melula, Gangang Uguti, Utesa Bezam Uguti, Bam Clinze, Quatola Luguti, Gu Awenzek. Why Niniaga in ten? A total of Jala Jala Itenis. Alwande Wabonagala and Renan to an oil note, Nabonga by Yavantuan. Even <laughs> Uzbona a champion who will chat tennis. Nami Giam Kokuzel and Sendel and Mamma said, I'm proud of you, Mamzur. Keep doing well. Melbezo, Lala, and Mamma by my tournaments, young Sendel, WhatsApp, Makulu, your Lalun Kulegel, and no, I'll pray for you. Otisha Bake. A hiding special school, Bakalebas Biz, Tinesas Nabanduana Babazul, Lula Corner, a Bastrazel, Basho Futina Nuguti Benzeluti, a Kuber and a Colon Lake, Lom Log Lala e Tennis. The reason I chose to go to Adelaide Tambo, it was because um, there are better facilities in terms of uh, wheelchair tennis. The, the courts are on standard, we have the good coach. Where we train with Alwande is, well obviously like any other sport, any, any sportsman, uh, they got to start with their warm-ups and stretching. We always try and get um, hand-eye coordination stuff going in there, and then also the speed and agility stuff, uh, also routines in there, and then also a bit of strength because um, wheelchair tennis is a sport that needs you to be physically strong, especially your upper body. Alwande is one of those players he's not He's not a daily uh, wheelchair tennis user, so he needs to be, uh, every time we get on court, he needs to do his uh, strength and conditioning on the upper body. Alwande's strength uh, is, well, he's, he's very motivated and he's also hungry for success, which makes it easy for on, on the coaching team, especially me. My short-term goals uh, is to make it to the top in juniors, meaning that uh, to be number one in the whole world in juniors by this year. And my long-term goal is to be number one in the whole world in the men's. You need a certain type of character uh, to be able to, to, to play the sport properly and have your personality impose it on your, on your opponent. So he does that very well. Uh, he's strong. Uh, also emotionally, he doesn't break down very easily. So yeah, that's, those are his strengths. He's, he's very, very competitive and it's a good attribute that he has. He's not the biggest uh, guy around, but he's still growing. He's still a youngster, you know, at, at 17 and he's still growing. He moves faster, even though he's not big, he doesn't have the big shots, but he can chase a lot of balls down, which also frustrates uh, a lot of his opponents and they end up breaking down instead of him. Leaving Wazul Natal and actually coming to Chobek was very tough for me in terms of uh, leaving. But um, coming to boarding school, it was something that I'm used to. 
uh, because you know even in Harding Special School, my previous school, it was a boarding school, so you know it was something that I was used to. But uh, leaving my family behind was quite tough. He's been there for us since day one. He's been a good friend to us for a while. Uh, he always has your back and always gives you good advice. And yeah, he's a funny guy in class. Um, yeah. Always cracks up jokes. I don't do do alrighty, San Kuluma. Yeah, in particular. What I can say from the, 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 the mob of my friends, he's been the guy who's been saying no to, to, to most bad things. Our spare time, uh, we just chill together, um, listen to music, we rap. Most of the time, yeah, we write our own lyrics and rap. Rap and service now, Balena need an Upa to call him. Start a small, not getting big. I've been a blessing from the first to my friend and to my home. is feeling like I'm in an elevator, picking all the levers. Yeah, trusting Coco Z, all is your plan. Let's if you're not patient, feeling crippled. Mystic crippled, might just pull. So the niggas chasing in like Tom and Jerry. Feels like this just by anger shit to pull me back. Still an infant in this game, but anger shit to lose. How was that? When I look at him playing tennis, he's, he's so good that nobody beats him. Everybody is trying, but then, yeah, they can't because he's very good at it because he's dedicated to it. The teachers helped me a great deal in terms of balancing my academic roles as well as the sport. Whenever I get a chance to represent the country, they will give me assignments and tests to do uh, whenever I'm away. When I come back, they will help me to recover my work. We are with Tanum Seven Zoe School at the same time, I turn and tennis. So, if it's a lot of balance, it's Tanum Seven Zoe. Alwande is a lovely kid. One of the most uh, outstanding characters about Alwande. Alwande is a child that uh, has got uh, respect. He does not allow fame, you know, to get to to, to, to his head. He behaves just like any other, you know, um, learner in our school. Sometimes the tournaments are not falling in within the, the school holidays. So he has to be away from school um, for some time. We're able to prepare work so that wherever he goes, he can still be able to do um, school work. He's participating in extra curricular activities in, in school, not just sports, but other things as well. Uh, so this is a group project, um, it's PET. Uh, it's a competition that will start on Monday next week. As you can see, this side we have um, the problem and this other side we have the, the solution. And this project is actually based on the traffic circle in Nicefield, um, intersecting with Morocco, with Morocco yes. My role model in wheelchair tennis is Lucas Sitole and uh, internationally it's Stefan Hudeid. Uh, the reason why they are my role models is because first Lucas Sitole, whenever he goes uh, outside the country to represent the country, he makes sure that he comes back with something. He wins the tournaments, he wins a lot of tournaments. And the reason why Stefan Hudeid is my role model, it is because um, of the way he plays. He's very unique from other players. I'm about to play in Pom Shongo now. He's uh, the South African number two junior. He's a very good guy, you know, but um, if I bring my best performance, definitely I'm going to win the match. But I shouldn't take it for granted because he also plays good. You know, we've played many times and I, it's not easy to win him. I have to work hard. And uh, today I'm actually ready to, to play my best, yeah. Uh, my name is Pom Shongo. I'm gonna be play, I'm number two in South Africa. I will be playing Alondes Kosana. It's probably going to be a tough match, but I'm looking forward to the match.
In the next coming Paralympics in Tokyo, I see myself singing the national anthem with a gold medal around my neck. In terms of his successes and where we see him in the future, uh, already he's been in the top two in juniors in the world. So, uh, you know, it's not everybody who gets to, to say they're number two in the world. <laughs> A winner in medals, Goba Ushelis winning medals in men's divisions and in juniors' divisions, Usologo Ewa winner my medals. So I know that even if they still have my Paralympics, he is going to make us proud. In Tegel and Ayanza Alande, she sent Kumerela Pambil, Goba Wundan my cool, says she sent at Nabakono Gusha Wenzai. I see Alwande winning a gold, gold medal, definitely, because he really has passion in what he, he does, and he enjoys it. Not only does he have passion, but he enjoys playing tennis. I just won the match against Mpo. The score was 6-1, 6-2. It was a great match. Um, I believe that I brought my best performance. I'm so happy with the, my performance because um, I was consistent and uh, I was able to concentrate for a long period of time. He, he really played good and every time when we play, he always gives me a tough time. But um, I'm so happy with the performance because at the end I won the match and um, with a good score.